Welcome to 3 Minute Theology with Joel. You know, around Christmas time, I think one of the most um, popular verses that we hear read or studied is Isaiah 9-6. And this is for good reason. I mean, I can't imagine more hope than Isaiah 9-6 could provide. Well, what does Isaiah 9-6 say? It says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And and then there's a period, and typically we just stop there. Uh, But I wonder if the most um, missed verse at Christmas time is actually Isaiah 9-7. One of the things that we want to do when we study biblical theology, when we study scripture and verses, is to study the verse in its context. So we want to study the verses that come before and after, and we want to get to this question, what is the author meaning? What is he intending for us to understand? Well, I actually think verse 7 is incredibly important, because catch this. Verse 7 says, of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. This will not cease. This isn't a temporary reality. On the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and uphold it. That's what Jesus is going to continue to do. And then two incredibly important words. With justice and with righteousness. These are Hebrew words that speak to peace and right standing. These are words that tell us of the character of of this person who is wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. This is the promise of what is actually going to take place. This means that Jesus is going to right all wrongs. Jesus is going to wipe away all the tears. And this also means that at Christmas time, when we remember the first coming of Jesus, the incarnation, we it's the advent of Christ, it's actually supposed to teach us to anticipate the second advent, the second return of Jesus, where Jesus would not come as a suffering servant who would die on a cross and defeat death through death. That had already taken place and has already happened. The second advent, the second coming of Jesus would be to do this, what Isaiah reminds us of, to establish his kingdom, to uh, have peace that would have no end, to uh, instill justice and righteousness. Catch this, very important, from this time to forevermore. This is talking about eternity. Eternity. And, and then how is this all going to happen? I think this is important. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This means that, that Jesus has a passion, has a desire to see this come through. And that is the hope of the gospel that we have.